Okay, guys, we're gonna see. We got some eggs here. So Precious just got one egg, which is not cool at all, Precious. That's not cool at all, Precious. We got ourselves some eggs here. Precious tried helping herself to one, which is not cool at all. I'm gonna try to juggle these. We'll go put these up really fast. Out of the pool, little buddy. I'm gonna put these eggs right here for now because I don't think Precious can get them here. Uh, Precious probably can. Precious, leave the eggs alone. No, ma'am. Precious. That's your no-no. Come on, let's go. The kids have already gone out to the farm to go start on some chores. Our chickens are looking pretty. Hi, sweet boy. I love you. Are you a good kitty? Is he okay? Why did he start chasing the rooster? Huh? Just when you y'all, you and started coming go closer and they came over here, he started chasing. Hmm. Hi piggies. Which piggy is this one? This one? Mm-hmm. Oh, is this Pew Pew? I uh, know. Do what? No, that's Pinky. That's a baby. Oh my goodness, that's Pinky. Baby. Hi. Hello. So sweet. Goat babies. What? What? Oh my heavens! Nobby Rocket! Why are you letting him do this to Stop you? Stop that business. Stop that business now. Stop that. Hi, baby. Hi, Rowdy. You okay, Rowdy? Rowdy. You're a nasty boy, Bobs. Hi, Rowdy. You're okay, Rowdy. You're okay, Rowdy. Yes. <laughs> Come here, Rowdy. He's a good boy. Bobby Rocket, stop it. Goodness. Oh, they're so cute. Hey, sweet cows. One of these days, one of these days, we'll have some cows. You okay? Okay. So, hey guys, this is Jenny with Jericho Sage Farms, and we're out here doing chores and um, just getting some stuff done before, um, just doing our evening chores and everything. Uh, me. No <laughs> <laughs> so I got to share about Jericho Sage Farms to some people and um, so it was not planned. I was not ready. Um, for those of you guys who don't know me, um, I know that I do these videos and stuff, but what you don't see in the background is, <laughs> how many takes this takes <laughs> how much of it i um like go over there's so many videos on my phone that it's just like i i retake and retake and retake because i this is not i'm not good at this i'm not i'm not good at talking <laughs> so um i do not talk well in front of people i stumble over my words and i say too much and yada 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 um, basically I just talk way too much and then I walk away from the conversation thinking that we're best friends <laughs> so that's just a little bit about me JD on the other hand he is our he's our speaker he's the one who he's our business guy he can talk um, about the business of Jericho Sage Farms and um, our passion with it and everything um, our passion for foster kids, adopted kids, the families, everybody involved and the, just passionate about the community, get involved in everything. But that is what he's good at. He's good at business and speaking. I, on the other hand, am not good at that. I am great at decorating parties and all the floofy stuff and animals, caring for the animals and children. I'm good at that. So what the Lord did today though, was he kind of just threw me out there to talk to some some very important people <laughs> about Jericho Sage Farms. Um, I would not have done that on my own. I would have 
not um, went up to some of these people and shared because just second guessing everything. And so what God did was um, he opened up the doors. Hey! Doors of opportunity for me to share about Jericho Sage Farms and to share about our passion and our love for these kids. Um, I woke up this morning and um, was just on the to-do list today was to take my mom to go get her car fixed, drop that off, and then to take my mom to go get, um, there was a church that was having some sort of health expo thingy for the senior citizens and I was gonna take her to go pick up her fruit basket and her vegetables and, um, and that was that. And then we're gonna go home and I was gonna finish homeschooling the kiddos and, um, and maybe send out some emails. And that was basically it. it and then take Avery to basketball. That was on my to-do list. But God was like, no, 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 we're gonna add, add one more thing that's gonna really push you out of your comfort zone. And so he did. <laughs> and so we show up um, to this church and right away we are greeted um, by someone we know who, who had um, told us that he knows some important people and stuff. And he, like the passion that he has for Jericho Sage Farms made me just so excited and just um, ready to share. Like I was very much nervous, like my heart was pounding and, um, and everything. Cause as soon as we got up there, he was like, here, let me, let me introduce you to somebody. And so I am saying hi to this beautiful lady and come to find out she's the wife of the mayor. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, I am nervous don't know what to say and he starts talking and um just kind of opens up that door of um me sharing and it was amazing and then from there he he went and he introduced me to some more people and um and i got to share with them our passion and our love and what what jericho sage farms um what we want to do like what jericho sage farms is all about and how they can help and how they can be a part of it and everything and so i didn't have all the words and um i need to work on how to share i also didn't i was not prepared i had my keys and my phone and that was about it so as they were talking and um asking me hey do you have a business card well i have a business card um at my house because <laughs> because this was not on the plan um and so i just kind of looked at them and i was like well you know um I thought I was just gonna bring my mom and pick up some fruits and vegetables. I did not, I wasn't expecting this. And so uh, it was so exciting, but um, walking away from that, it was just, it's just neat how God, like he knows, he knows what you're capable of. And even in your weakness, even when you are weak and you know, I fumble over my words, I hate speaking out to people, um, I hate, public speaking, I guess you would call it public speaking. Um, I am not good at that, but it's crazy though, because I am comfortable with leading worship. Like that's my heart. I love to lead worship. I, I am not a musician. I just sing, but I love it and I can do that. But the minute that you ask me to speak, whoo, oh my goodness, I get this feeling in my tummy and I'm just like, no, 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 no. So I have to really dig down deep and say, just Jesus, like, take the wheel because you know i can't say i you know i can't speak lord <laughs> so it's gonna have to be you holy spirit speaking through me and he does he shows up he shows up and he does exactly what he needs to do and he just he just uses you as his vessel and it's just amazing and so that's what he did today and the exciting part of all this is i know that i shared with you guys last week about how um you know we're going to be starting a patreon and i wasn't sure how that was going to work i wasn't sure what that was even all about but um one thing that god has really pressed upon my heart and has pressed upon jd's heart is the only way to work this farm the only way to work this ministry jericho sage farms well is if jd is able to do this full-time full-time ministry all in Let's do this. And um, so that's our goal now. Our goal is to bring JD home so that he can do this full time. Because like I said, he is the one who speaks. He's the one that is um, 
he's a passionate speaker. When he shares God's word, when he shares his passions, when he speaks, it's just, I cannot explain it, but it is amazing. And so I can't, I can't. Ex what? My heavens for Betsy! Guys, look at my dog. Connor, James, Maverick. Do you see your brother? Do you see him? Gunner James! You're crazy! Oh, because you put the cat food up there? Oh my heavens! Huh? Yeah, you are such a goofball. Gunner James, how'd he climb up there? Gunner James, we love you, buddy. Come here, boy. So, um, sorry, we were kind of interrupted by, <laughs> by Gunner James hopping up there on that van right there. So, um, but where was I? So one of the things that the Lord has just really kind of shown JD and I is that, um, in order to do this well, in order to really be all in and run Jericho Sage Farms, um, the way it needs to be run and take care of it the way it needs to be taken care of and share is for JD to be able to do this full time, to be in full time ministry. And so um, that is what we are praying for. That is what we are hoping for. And that is our goal is to bring JD home by 2023. I know, crazy, um, but God's a big God. And I mean, the fact that we even have all of this and the calling that he has over our family is crazy big anyways. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's where we're at guys. Um, we will be starting our Patreon getting that all set, ready to go. And, um, we will, we're looking for people who will help support and, um, help our family to be able to get this. Jericho Sage Farms open and start and, and just to be able to serve and to love and support. Um, God has given us the opportunity to love on some families and open our homes for, to some families and um, really minister to them. And so um, it's starting, it's begun. And so we, um, we would love y'all's help. We would love y'all guys to um, be on board and do this with us. So. <laughs> You're a goofball. So, um, so yeah, so that's where we're at, guys. Um, we will see what God has planned, and I'm excited, and um, we'll see where this goes. So, uh, you guys have a blessed evening. Um, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.